today we've got a nether emulation device. This time you have a couple options here. It's a 55,000 uh, game, two terabyte gaming hard drive. And you can buy just the hard drive or you can get it all included with the computer and controllers all together. So it's a plug and play device, pretty cool. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and start with the unboxing of what exactly this is physically and what you're buying. And then we'll get into the actual front end. Uh, it's a Batocera build with every system from Atari all the way up to Nintendo Wii, including the GameCube, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PSP, some really cool systems in there. And uh, then we'll get into the um, the game list, the, the, the emulators, the systems, and then lastly, the actual performance of what you can expect from this computer. If you have a high-end laptop or desktop computer already, you know, all these things are gonna run uh, very well as is, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so this is a little mini PC, and uh, here's the hard drive bay at the bottom. And uh, inside is a recertified Seagate Mobile 2 terabyte hard drive, in case you're curious what's in there. And this is the same hard drive. You could buy the system preset up like this and it's plug and play. You literally just hook up the power which it comes with. You hook it HDMI to your TV or a monitor and then you get like an Xbox 360 controller or any controller you want, 8-bit dough, whatever, you plug it in there and it auto detects it and you can set up your controls and you're gaming. So super easy plug and play makes a good gift or if you wanna give somebody that's not computer savvy or if you're watching my channel and you are computer savvy, you could basically get this hard drive, the same hard drive, they just give it to you in a little external hard drive enclosure, you just get a little uh, USB 3.0 cable and you connect this hard drive into your computer and you can actually boot off the hard drive into Batocera and there's a whole video on how you do that. So while these are two separate products you can order, it's basically the same thing. It's just one is coming with the computer as well, and one is coming as a hard drive. So I think the biggest selling point here is if you don't already have a computer, or if you wanna give this to somebody who knows nothing, and you can just say, hey, here's the computer, because it comes literally ready to go. You just, you just hit on and you're gaming, right? Uh, this one, you have to uh, do a little bit of configuration, but this one's a lot cheaper, and if you already have a computer, just get the hard drive, right? So that's what we're gonna be playing around with here. This video is totally shot on this specific device. Um, the ROMs, the games that are, that are included on this will run great full speed if you have any kind of new-ish computer, um, but you know your mileage will vary depending on how powerful your computer is. So let's get into it. Here it is, all games rocking 52,247 games. And as I get into it, you have everything from Atari, um, that's as far as it felt, and Apple II, that's about as old as you get. And then new, I wouldn't say it has PlayStation 3 because it only has this one little Raymond Origins game. It does, but I mean, it's one game. It has a nice little PlayStation 2 collection, and it also has the Nintendo Wii and then Dreamcast. That's about as new as you're going to get, but it has everything in between. And for a little two terabyte drive, it is awesome. I'll go ahead and get into... Um, as far as performance a little bit later, you will start seeing some lag and some Wii and some GameCube and some PS2 games, but they're fairly playable on this little machine. Now, if you just buy the hard drive, it should be totally fine. If you have a dedicated graphics card or something like that, this thing is gonna perform just great. So what I wanna do in this video is share with you what it is you're getting, the ways in which you can load it, and then the um, the games, what's included on it. So let's start alphabetically with Amstrad CPC. You got a total of 2,917 games. This is running Batocera, so you do have some options. You can hit start on your controller here and do all sides of customization. Turn the, it comes with music. You can turn the music on or off and sound settings. You can uh, download some more themes, make it look different. You got a little bit of options there. So uh, 2,700 games, you can go in to the console itself. And this particular system just has pictures here. It tells you what the game's about, et cetera, et cetera. So some games do have video previews like this, but the majority of what I saw did not. So let's go ahead. So we have Amstrad CPC. You have Amstrad GX4000. You get 25 games. Uh, I'll be showing you the games list on some of the bigger systems, but some of these smaller computer-based systems, I probably will not be checking out each game. Apple II 473, Apple II GS 148. So you have your MAME and your Final Burn Neo, and uh, this is going to be your arcade games, basically. And you have over 2,100 games here. You can click in. There's a lot of games here. You can always hit your uh, the trigger buttons at the top of your controller and jump down 
letters to get to things. Uh, but it's going to have most of your arcades. Arcade set is decent. It's not the best I've seen. I'd get, definitely give it maybe a B, B minus, but it has quite a bit of stuff on it. And you can load a game, and, into, and these games run on tokens. Uh, there is bezels as well, um, which are those little things on the side of your screen, that little um, placeholders. And um, you can insert tokens by hitting select or whatever you set your hotkey to on your control. So there you go. You can see the bezels there. Looks kind of cool. Okay. So um, let's go back. And then you have Final Burn Nero. Again, you can hit the top buttons on your, on your um, X-Men. Great little game right there. Uh, you can hit the top button to move around. Atari 2600, 600 games, 800, 2670, 5200, 95, ST, 854, 7800, 65, Atari Lynx, 82, Jaguar, 64. Some people like to see what's in the Jaguar, so we'll jump around here in case you're curious. Wolfenstein 3D, Worms, nice. What a classic game. Then we have uh, Ooze Box. Never even played these games before. You got some games there. Uh, Sufami Turbo. You have 1,800 games. Wonder Swan, 113. Wonder Swan Color, 91. Coleco, 146. Pretty much all of them. Converse 64. See, here's where they get the 50,000 games, right? There's 6,500 games here. And a lot of you won't even ever play any of those games. Amiga 500. Again, 2,600 games. Most of you aren't going to play that. Amiga CD TV, less than 100. Amiga CD 32. 150 scum vm um so these i haven't played with these um they're looking good they look like they're in english which is good sometimes these games are not in english so you got leisure suit larry fun games um all kinds of stuff to check out but you can see there are going to be some duplicates here and there things like that these uh hard drives that you buy they're not always super um 113 they're not always super squared away as far as the rom set so ms dos let's see what we got here Descent. So these are all free, the free versions of the game, the shareware version. So they're not the full uh, version. MSX 1, 2, and 2 Plus. You have about 300 games there. So Windows, I did try to play Plants for Zombies. My son wanted to play it. It is running on Wine, which is like a you know a loader that that uses windows it didn't work on the first try i might try it again but i mean it's a free game you can get it anywhere right on a phone whatever but uh don't expect any like you know uh titanfall or anything like that on this xbox again there's only one game i didn't try it it's just jet set radio future you know i'm sure it works um whether it lags or not on this pc i don't know i'm gonna be doing a lot more other um systems testing for that like you know, Wii, things like that. So we'll check those out that have more games. Turbo Graphics 16, 298. Turbo Duo, 155. Super Graphics 316. PCFX 50. Game & Watch 59. NES 1800. Let's see this really quick. So here you go. You got NES games. You got some Japanese titles in there. You got some duplicates. It looks like you have some homebrews as well. And so you got a lot of games here. You know, it's not my favorite thing about builds like this. It's just kind of just a lot more you have to go through. Cool that there's a little gun logo on Chiller. It is a light gun game. Uh, you do need your zapper for it. Um, so a lot of little bloat here, but um, you know that's what uh, that's what I come to expect with things like this. Two hundred nine family computer disk system. Game Boy eleven hundred seventy five. That's quite a bit too. Yeah, you're gonna have some three in ones there. So it looks like some Japanese titles mixed in there as well. Uh, but you will have all the games you want. So, like, for example, Pokemon. Let's see if we go backwards to P. You know, you're still going to have your Pokemon. You're still going to have your Wario. All that fun stuff will be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Should be on here. No problem. There you go. Pokemon. You got a bunch of them. Blue. Spelled with an extra A. Red. Uh, this one. <laughs> uh gold and uh, a couple other little pokemons okay super nintendo oh you even have super game boy if you want to get into super game boy what do we have there cool these you got super game boy as well which is uh 194 so ms so back to game boy uh 1175 super nintendo 761 okay so this one looks like it might be a pretty clean uh yeah this is a clean rom set right here this is clean this is most this is all the games no homebrews no duplicates no nothing if they could just do that for all the rest that would be great 
All right, MSU are Super Nintendo games with different soundtracks on it, really cool soundtracks. Uh, I'm really excited for the new Super Mario RPG that got announced. Uh, Super Famicom, so Television 123, Virtual Boy 33, Nintendo 64, 461. So this is going to have some Japanese games in it as well. Sorry, I keep hitting A twice. Um, so yeah, you see a couple of duplicates there. But this is pretty much all the N64 games. And I will play GoldenEye later. It actually played really well, in case you're curious. The N64 is running good. So Game Boy Color, again, you're going to have all your Pokemon, things like that. How many games do they have? A thousand, yeah. So there's going to be some duplicates in there, things like that. There's really only around like 700 games normally. So... 300 of those, not sure what those are, Japanese, something like that. So the N64 DD, there's this little base you can see right there in the photo on your left. That was a little base right there that they added from the Nintendo 64. And there you go, you got six little games. So GameCube, let's go back really quick, 232 games. So this is pretty cool. I'm really digging this. Um, a lot of these games do run fine. Uh, they run great if you're on a really high-end computer. Now, as far as the computer that this comes with, if you are buying it, you can buy this with a computer or just a hard drive. Uh, the way it's set up now with the computer, you know, you might find some lag in some of the harder to emulate games, but you know, like Mario, um, you know, some of these racing games and stuff, they should run just fine. I play Super Smash Brothers Melee later, and it was running decent. It was definitely playable. You had some little moments, but nothing too crazy. Game Boy Advance. So this is another ridiculous. Why is there 2,700 games in there? Why is there Japanese flag there? You know, so they're, they're throwing in a bunch of Game Boy Advance here. They're throwing in a bunch of Game Boy Advance here. Um, and uh, so, and again, oh, here's a finally a system that has some video snaps on it, huh? So you get video snaps with this. But here you go. You got all the two games in one packs, which is ridiculous. Oh, man, the first three pages is that. You got lots of duplicates here. Uh, let's just go down as we go into Barbie. Because every Barbie, and then there you go, you got some Japanese games as well, as you see here. So there's going to be a lot in here, but you will have your Advanced Wars, the things you want, things like that. You just have a lot more in addition to that. Game Boy, or Pokemon Mini, <laughs> 43. Nintendo DS, wow, 3833. Again, uh, Nintendo DS, and uh, is pretty. that's pretty ridiculous right there, as how many games you have. So you're going to have all your regular games, but you have your 3-in-1s, your 4-in-1s, and Japanese titles as well what what's going on here i have no idea looks like you can buy some milk but it's sold out all right we got only got 20 games which i don't mind because you really need a wii remote for most games you know so new super mario bros u so like this game great game right but for those of you who don't know when you're wearing that wingsuit you have to shake your controller and not all controllers have you know uh, you know whatever that sensor is that allows you to shake your controller and it recognizes it um and so yeah it's not the best game nintendo 3ds 465 there's quite a bit on here but as you see a lot of these games you'll never play before uh, you'll never play but um yeah it's on there if you want to check it out some lego games some mario games things like that 3do what do we have five button gamepad 138 games so there you go pretty much all of them uh, one of the best games, Road Rash. Check that out. You got Putt Putt in there, all his little adventures. Lutro, nine. Mr. Boom, one. Beats of Rage. Wow, that's quite a selection of Beats of Rage. These are like homebrew games, things like that. Definitely check it out. They're fun. Um, and uh, over 200 of them, almost 300. Prince of Persia's on here. Uh, Pie Game, uh, one game. Okay, let's we'll see what the game is. Retro Trivia. All right. It's a way to explore your Battlestar Games library. Guess which thumbnail video is played. Which, oh, interesting. I didn't know somebody even made this game. A Thomas Wave. 26 games. These should run well with this particular build. Dolphin Blue being one of my faves. Demolish Fish, also good. Sega SG 1099, Sega Masters in 442, Sega Genesis 1200 games. So again, you're going to have some bloatware in here, some games you'll probably never see before. Um, all kinds of stuff over in Master System, Sega CD, Game Gear, Genesis. There you go. Uh, if you're wondering what I was just doing, you go right to left. You can go between systems this way as well. Anyway, Sega Genesis. Uh, it looks like it's just mixed with some Mega Drive games, different region games. Okay. Uh, let's go back. 
Game Gear, 406. Sega CD, 171. Sega Saturn, 987. Wow. That's actually quite a um, Sega Saturn collection. I do play, um, but it looks like, yeah, you're getting some ja a lot of Japanese games as well. Area 51. Um, but I do play Die Hard Arcade later, and it does work. Um, I like the Sega Saturn emulating it because this, the games themselves are so expensive. Sega Genesis 32X. You got 37, so all of them. Dreamcast, 298. That's a lot. And then don't forget, you also have Naomi over here, which is also going to have some of those Dreamcast games you might be looking for. Dead or Alive was there. Crazy Taxi. Uh, Marvel's Capcom 2. I'm doing Naomi first since it's smaller. Zombie Revenge, WWF, Wave Runner GP. And then Dreamcast. We'll go through this fairly um, quickly. And uh, so far, I'm pretty impressed with how many games they squeezed on this thing. Um... It's not perfect by any means, but um, I kind of went kind of fast there. Sorry. But, uh, you know, it, it's as far, it's, as far as like the range, it's got a big range, which is uh, I think some people will like Worms World Party. All right. And Zombie Revenge here as well. All right. Let's go back. And Sharp 68,847, ZX81, 800, ZX Spectrum. So, again, this is what's kind of bloating it, 6,100 games. As far as bloating, making such a big number. You got all your Neo Geo games, all your Neo Geo CD games, Neo Geo Pocket, Pocket Color, PlayStation, 1,500 games. So, the fact that there's 1,500 games, I can already tell you that they stripped out the, um, the audio from these games, the music. So, you know, you can add in your own games. You know, you can, you can absolutely copy these hard drives. You can copy it to a bigger hard drive. You can move around the ROMs. You can delete ROMs and then add your own ROMs. Um, that is all available to you. You know, there's quite a bit of uh, Japanese titles in this PlayStation collection as well. But uh, it has a lot of games on it. Do, does it have video snaps? No. Anyways, it pretty much has ever, like, what is it? What, 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 let's go back really quick. 1500 yeah because there was like around a thousand u.s games if not more like 1200 or so for u.s so there's a lot of games for this system all right i'm not going to go through all of them um or if i do i'm going to go pretty quick because that is a lot of games so this thing does just boot right into battle sarah and uh, again, I'll be posting information that uh, shows you, you know, that you can, if you bought it with the computer, you can take it out of the computer, or you can just buy this hard drive separately and have it boot on your own computer. You have a couple different options of how you set this thing up. All right, finally, PS2. I didn't see the count there. 125. Pretty impressive with the PS2 collection. I'll go a little slower here since it's just 100, a couple hundred. Serious Sam. Yeah, some of these games were great. All right, there you go. That's it. PSP 720 something. Now, you'll notice some of these are PSP minis, if not a lot of them. So, you know, don't get too excited. You can see that this collection here was not very well sought out. Like all these USA games, it looks like they just threw them in there. They just threw these USA games. No JPEG. Like they just threw them in these games. So really ugly nasty psp collection but it's there and uh a lot of them are psp minis right so these were not full size games but hey you got metal slug xx you got nba 2k 10 and 11 and 12. uh did i see need for speed yeah need for speed nice so quite a bit you can sell some pinball games there so big big psp collection just a little uh, not very cleaned up. PlayStation 3 is just the one game. Raymond Origin, Supervision. Uh, what do we say there? 66 games. And there you have it. All 52,247 games. So let's get started with the actual performance here. Uh, starting off, we have main games. This is the arcade version of Mortal Kombat 2. And as you see, no lag whatsoever. You just need some skill to get past the first guy in the game. 
Uh, all the arcade games are going to run just fine. The Final Burn Nero, the Neo Geo, um, as well as the um, main games. But here you go. Now we got PlayStation 2, cool, cool Borders. I think it's, what, 2001 is the name. Um, and as you see here, not bad. A um, little bit of hiccups here and there, like, you know, some audio tearing, things like that. Nothing crazy, uh, but it works. Uh, we're going to jump to PlayStation 1. I have another PlayStation 2 game. we got uh, Grand Theft Auto coming up, but uh, Smurfs here. And uh, this one actually has sound in it. It has music. I don't know if you, I'll stop talking for a second to hear music. And uh, performance-wise, yeah, it runs. Um, very sensitive controls in this game. Uh, might have just been my controller. Um, throughout this video, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Um, when they gave me the system, they actually didn't include controllers. Um, you know, the controllers that are included in this thing, if you do buy it with the controllers, are, you know, mediocre. But, uh, hey, if you need them, they, they do work. But an Xbox 360 controller, um, it'll... So here's Grand Theft Auto PS2. And, again, it, it was totally playable. Is I did not have any issues, but back to the controllers, um, you you know you can it'll prompt you when you first boot up. So as long as you're booting this up, then um, it'll say, oh, we detect this controller, whether it's an 8-bit DOE or Xbox 360. So you actually have quite a few options from the controller settings. Um, so here we go. Now we have Sega Saturn, and this is one of those systems I like emulating because the games are so expensive. You know, so Die Hard Arcade here, uh, fun game, uh, running great. I had no issues whatsoever with this one. Um, you know, totally playable. And again, remember all this, all this that you're watching right now is captured from that small form factor Intel 11th Gen computer that's included. Now that computer only has integrated graphics. It does not have a dedicated graphics card. And if you have a dedicated graphics card. Uh, you'll see here in a moment the GameCube, the Wii, and the PS2 are all going to run significantly better um, and no lag whatsoever. And you could even upscale some of the, the um, some of the content as well. You know, higher res, change the resolution, make it even higher. Now, uh, Sonic CD, all the Sega systems are going to perform just fine, even Dreamcast. But this Sega CD, Sega Genesis, all that stuff is going to run great. Moving on to Wii. So here's where it gets uh, hiccupy. Uh, but, you know, I don't really like emulating on the Wii. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video. I don't really like emulating on the Wii because uh, the controller, it's not ideal, right? Their controller was very different at the time. But uh, Mario Kart, great game. And uh, you can see here it is It is a little bit choppy with the audio and some, some stuttering. And so that's going to be um, one of the limitations here. But there's really not a lot of Wii games, and well, as I per personally don't really like emulating the Wii. Um, the Wii is actually one of those systems that's fairly cheap. Um, a lot of the games are fairly cheap still as well, too. But uh, if you are running this on a regular computer, just the hard drive, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to run fine. So here you go, Super Smash Bros. Melee for the GameCube. And um, it's playable, but definitely going to have some hiccups and some audio uh, tearing a little bit. All right, now we have GoldenEye for the Nintendo 64. These are all the default settings here, and it actually runs really great. You'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and follow that truck in a little bit here, just so you can see that even, that's one of the more laggier scenes is when there's like the truck and there's still guys, there's still enemies, and then you're still running into this open area and it's trying to, you know, populate all the uh, graphics. That's when it tends to lag. And as you see here, even on the system, it's not very laggy. So that's great to see that the Nintendo 64 uh, is running great. And then this last video will be for Contra Alien War for the MSU, which is the Super Nintendo with the extra soundtrack. And so my final thoughts on this system um, I think, you know, the hard drives, you know, if you don't already have this stuff and you just want to plug and play, I think it's a it's a solid uh, option for you. Do note, you know, we saw some issues with like PSP, you know, the ROM set was not quite totally ironed out, but it's another option for you. Um, as far as the mini PC plug and play, really cool. You know, a lot of people have tried to build systems like this and um, like Dream Arcades did a whole thing like this. They did a Kickstarter with a device similar to this. 
uh, as far as the little form factor computer. And uh, it's cool. I like it. It has a lot of potential, you know, and then uh, you just have those limitations. And, you know, not you can't have all your cake and eat it too, you know. Like, you're going to have to, for price, there's gonna, always going to be a price to performance, right? And then there's also always going to be a customization, right? You get what you pay for type of thing. And uh, I like to make this very clear in all my videos is all this stuff is free to you online. Like there's, there's really awesome builds. You can all download this all on your own and set it up on your own. And, you know, you could do all that stuff very easily. But a lot of people like these plug and play options. And or you just want to know what you're buying on Amazon, right? When you go and look at these things, you want to know what, what's going on with it. So um, those are this should give you a good idea of, of what you're getting into. And, uh, you know, you can make the decision yourself. Um, that's what I think. Let me all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.